pleasure to be here with you. You know, I had to come by your dressing room before we started, because I knew it was going to be emotional for me, because this woman is one of the reasons I'm here. What she did on television made me want to be on TV. And what you meant to my parents, I had to go, you know, get to crying out backstage. Oh, I ain't, Steve. I didn't want to come out here and do it. And meeting her was just, like, so major for me. This woman is a legend in this business. <laughs> I wanted to say that. That was really good. Well, let me tell you, you know, uh, he said that exactly the way I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we're on stage one right now. Uh -huh. This is where Jack Benny did his iconic show, and you played Jane to his Tarzan. That's right. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you been here since? No, I don't think so. I don't really? think I have. That was a long... That was 1962 <laughs> in the sketch. Jack wanted to throw boulders, like playing ball with each yeah. other. And so I threw it back to him, and Jack fell back into some prop bushes that were <laughs> very sticky, you know, and he cut himself on this bushes and in front of the yard, and he's bleeding, and he, he just keeps going. He didn't stop tape or anything. He kept going. It was like a Broadway show. Wow, yeah. Like you had to just keep going, yeah. you know. Uh, you know Today, they would have stopped and... Oh, yeah. You know, oh, they shut that down. <laughs> shut it down right away. Not, oh. not Jack. He was, he was a trooper. Yeah. This studio is also on uh, James Stewart Avenue, oh. which is one of your favorite actors. I saw you post it on your Instagram. Uh-huh. Did you have this shirt made? Always remember, be nice to people. Yeah. No, that was from his daughters, and they gave it to me because he was my favorite. It happened when they were going to go to college. He had twin, twin daughters. And they said, Dad, do you have any advice for us, you know, going to college and everything? And that was the advice he gave them. Yeah. Now, here, here's what I think is so incredible. You received an anonymous donation of 50 bucks, which made it so that you could afford to go to UCLA. Yeah, we were pretty poor. <laughs> and in fact, our rent was $30 a month. I lived with my grandmother in, in a one room with the Murphy pull down bed and I slept on the couch. And I wanted very badly to go to UCLA, but we couldn't afford it. Get this, back then, the tuition was only $43. <laughs> That's how old I am. But anyway, <laughs> our door led right to the lobby of this building we lived in and there were pigeonhole mailboxes. So every morning I would look out and see if there might be an envelope in our slot. So this one morning there was, and I went out and I got it, and it was an envelope with my name typewritten on it and the address and all, and I opened it up, and there was a $50 bill. And to this day, I don't know where that came really? from. I do not know. The Carol Burnett Show, it ran for 11 seasons. This show won 25 yeah. Emmys. 25. You had everybody that was anybody on that show. Yeah. Which, of all the people you had on the show, which one left you the most star? I mean, you had everybody on there. Man. Well, they were all pretty spectacular, but I think maybe the one that uh, impressed me the most at the first time was Ray Charles. You know, usually he would go on a show and just play his number and yeah. so forth. But we put him in a sketch. <laughs> and my middle daughter, Jody, she was five years old, and we were watching the Ed Sullivan show one night, and Ray Charles came on. And she said, I love him. And so about two or three days later, uh, we had a plumber working in the kitchen. She said, <clears throat> I'm married, you know. Uh, Ray Charles is my husband. <laughs> She said, he's, he's, he's blind, and I have to lead him everywhere. <laughs> so when Ray came on my show, I told him this story, and he said he just loved it. So then I told Jody, I said, your husband's on this week. <laughs> and she, and she went, oh. And so she came back after the show, and Ray Charles was there. And I said, Ray, this is Jody. He said, where's my little Jody? And she ran over to him. He picked her up. 
they hugged, she started to cry, and kissing him, the whole, it was so beautiful. I mean, to wow. this day, I, yeah. When I first started this show in Chicago, uh -huh. I stole something from your show. When you used to walk out and talk to the audience uh -huh. before the show. Yeah. And that's where Ask Steve was born. And to this day, <laughs> it's now Hey Steve, and I take questions from the audience because of your show. Wow. When we were going to start the show, the uh, executive producer came up to me and he said, you know, Carol, you've got to do the warm-up and come out and, uh, you know, do Q&A uh, because the audience should get to know you before you put on all those crazy outfits and do all those crazy characters. Yeah. And I was scared to death the very first taping. But after three or four weeks, I started to get a kick out of doing it. There were no planned questions. It was all random. and. Uh, it, it became one of my, my favorite things yeah. to do on the show. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's good, because it's, it's my favorite segment. Yeah. I love, because when people ask you questions, and then I end up going probably more off the question than on the question. <laughs> I end up not giving out advice at all, so. Did you ever get one you couldn't answer? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been stomped a couple of times. Because yeah. people go into some real personal issues sometimes. Ooh. You know, my husband cheated on me, what should oh. I do? He, 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 he is right here. Well, <laughs> You know. That's more like Maury Povich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's some stuff I want to say, but I can't now. <laughs> but she a legend, so she said it. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. That was good. Well, and let me say this. Your sitcom, Mama's Family. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I think... In all of television, that has to be in the top three funniest shows I've ever seen. It was. How did that show come about? Well, it was written by uh, Dick Clare and Jenna McMahon. They were partners in uh, writing, and they were from uh, Chicago. And they both hated their mothers. <laughs> <laughs> and so my background, being from Texas and Arkansas, I immediately, when I read it, I went, I started talking like this. <laughs> you know, Mama, you know, how come you talk to me like that? Yeah. All, Vicky picked it up and Harvey, so all of a sudden they became Southwestern or whatever, and we did it that way. The writers were very upset. They said, oh, what are you doing with this, with our, with our sketch here? You're going to alienate the entire South, <laughs> you know? And we, I said, that just the way I kind of saw it yeah. happen. And, we did it. We never thought we were going to do it more than one time, but it uh, got great response. So we wound up doing those about thir 35 times on our show. And uh, we did not alienate the entire South. No, the no. South loved it. <laughs> now, we've got the Carol Burnett 50th anniversary special, which is this Sunday. And it is star studded, everybody. <laughs> you got the whole game back together. Well. What, was it overwhelming? It you? was overwhelming. And what was really nice about it, it's a reunion show, but we had a lot of people on, stars that I'm starstruck by, like Jim Carrey and uh, Bill Hader and Jay Leno and Maya Rudolph and Jane Lynch and Bernadette Peters and Harry wow. Connick Jr. And I mean, on and on. Hey, listen, before you go, I want to hit you with some of these rapid-fire, uncensored questions. <laughs> Okay, here we go. If you were forced to compete on a reality show, which one would you pick? The Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about the best party you ever went to? Lucille Ball. <laughs> gave me a baby shower. It was in the evening. It was black tie and men were invited. And her husband was Gary Morton, and he was a comedian, so it was his deal to open up all the baby gifts. So he was doing bits about diapers and, you know, everything. <laughs> and it was so funny. There were cocktails and dinner. And as we were leaving, the, the men who were leaving said, we didn't realize that baby showers could be this much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, last one. What actor or actress would you like to do a project with? Meryl Streep. I... 
Not only is she a brilliant actress, but she is very funny, and she sings up a storm. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I just think it would be great fun to do sketches with her, any kind of a scene with her, because I always feel you want to work with somebody better than you are because it only makes you better. I'm going to ask you. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, Carol Burnett. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.